Hey guys, today I show you a low poly house that I created with Blender and imported into Unity. It is a modular design, we have the house, a window, a door and this stone platform. All of these parts are separate objects, which are added to a hierarchy with the house as parent. Here you can see it in the render preview. Then I go back to the material viewport shading, select the children like the door, the window, or the stone platform and press H to hide it. So this is the basic object without the children. Ok, now I select all the parts and I show you how to export this to Unity and how to use the modular design to our advantage. First export as FBX, the selected objects only and don't forget to check the experimental apply transform for correct scale and rotation in Unity. Ok, and here we are in Unity, the house model is imported. I assign the low poly material to the model and we are ready to drag it into the scene. And this comes out really nice. What is missing is the colliders, I add a mesh collider to the house and to the stone platform. Ok, now you can go ahead and drag this game object into the prefabs folder to be able to reuse it with the assigned colliders. Because of the modular design, you can again drag the model into the scene and add some modifications. For example, get rid of the stone platform or move the windows and the door to a different location. Again, you can add the mesh colliders and once you're happy with the model, you can drag it to the prefabs folder again to create a reusable variant of the original house model. And this is the big advantage of the modular design, you combine different submodels to new assets. Again, I drag this prefab into the scene and then I continue designing my level. And this is the preview of the scene for the next version of the Low Poly Game Kit, which will be online in a couple of days. Ok, thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked the video and the game kit and if you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to support me, think about being my patron, because this would really help me creating my videos and to continue the development of my game kit. Stay tuned my friends and I'll see you in the next one.